so yeah, we are, I think we're heading over to Marty's, uh, old house. Um, pretty sure it's a shithole. I'm fairly sure if I remember correctly. But, uh, I, we're wanted, and my license is wanted, and the cops are after me, and I almost missed that turn. I <laughs> hit the wall. Good job. <laughs> I think I was, like, close enough. Fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> and I think this is it. Yeah. What a fucking That's right. dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. I wish I had cash. Like, Jesus. This place is nasty. It's like... What the fuck is wrong with this place? I feel bad for Marty for living here. The kid did not deserve this. Like, ugh. The, the bathroom mirror is shattered. And for some reason, my leather jacket just sort of appears in Marty's closet, which, uh, it's a little odd. <laughs> I don't know, it feels weird. Fuck, this is yeah, creepy. Is. Um, but it's a little weird that our closet, that our clothes just somehow vanished, or appeared to Marty's closet. Am I the only one that thinks that's weird? Probably. Uh, so, chapter 12, sea gift, I think that was, sea something. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Okay. It's kind of odd that he just let him come in. <laughs> oh, you failed, but whatever. Hey Vito, it's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. And bring a piece. I'll see you there. Uh, <laughs> apparently no weapons allowed here, but at the park, you can bring all your weapons. Um, I'm pretty sure now I go and do a little exploring or checking which guns I have in the first place. Um, but I think I go up here and I find that they have wanted posters in this game. Um, it's another version of a collectible. I think this one is more wide open to the world. Um, and I don't know if those are real uh, people. They may even be like... Like, I don't, I don't know if they're actually real or if they're like devs putting themselves in the game. I'm going to assume it's the first one, but if it is the death, it's pretty cool. Um, but I think these are more of an open world exploration kind of, like, sort of thing. Um, I didn't just recently unlock it, that's just the first one I've stumbled across. I thought one of those was my, uh, car thing. Oh, there's the garage. Car thing? Yeah, good job. I'm looking for my uh, my car thing where I put all my cars. I don't I don't know where it went. Can you find my car thing? <laughs> God damn it. Um. Yeah, but the wanted posters are sort of a open world exploration type of thing. Uh, I think the Playbook magazines are based on individual levels. Um, and once you finish a level, oh this fucking dude, he's just gonna stand there and stare at me. He's like, wow, dude, wow, you knocked over the trash. Wow. <laughs> Are you for real, bruh? Yeah, but uh, I keep trying to explain this. So the Playboys are for level only. Once you finish a level, that area is closed off and you can't go back in unless you redo the mission. Uh, so you can't go the Playboy if you don't pick it up in time. But I think the wanted posters are like, a, like around the entire world, which you're supposed to go out and find them. Uh, although I, I don't really ever feel like I have enough time to go do that because it's like, oh well, you started a mission, you probably should go talk to Henry. And if you spend any more time, we're just going to keep telling you, go talk to Henry. Um, you know, some of that. So, that would it would have been nice to have like a, a free time between levels, sort of like how GTA does it. Where it's like, well, here's the mission starter, you can go there if you want, or you can explore and do random stuff around the, uh, the city. I don't know, I would have liked that uh, instead of the pick up the phone, just because I want to explore the city, but there's not really much else to do in the city besides rob stores and watch it posters. <laughs> and I don't really feel like robbing stores, because it's a bad thing, it's just like, I have no reason for the money, I don't, I don't need it. 
I scared the crap out of the lift hunter. I think I'll run over one of their bags because I'm Vito. I'm the best. <laughs> That's my only reasoning. I am Vito. I am the best. It's just, it's just that, you know. Hey, here he comes. Hey, what's up? Hey, Vito. What Take up, bro? All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Damn. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay. So what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't um. we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Yeah, come on, like... Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. You're talking... All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. Are you stupid? What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid, over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour Because Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, so this is really game. It's kind of interesting. We've been told multiple times throughout the game not to get into drugs, not to start selling drugs or anything of the sort of drugs. We just sort of like, we're supposed to leave it alone. Um, but for whatever reason, Vito just forgets all that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever, 20 grand, fuck it, what, why not? Um, he even mentioned that Frank Vigi told him not to go into drugs, you know? Um, and for some reason, my car wouldn't let me in the boat. It was weird. I think the car glitched, and it's like, uh, you can't actually get in here because the car isn't here. We're gonna get the muffle here. Um, yeah, so now it takes a little weird turn for the worst. Uh, so we're going to be getting into selling drugs, which is not a good idea. Uh, because one, bec um, oh, damn it. Well, we're not supposed to be getting into drugs. <laughs> I don't know. It feels weird that they just like, like, from three turn three episodes ago, where there where we got like introduced to the so family, who's this guy we're gonna drugs, and then we're like, okay, so we'll sell Bruno. for twenty grand. <laughs> He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if? He and now we're gonna get loaned as well from a loan. And the charge. deal's off. Oh. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from. There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for thirty-five grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. I wonder who could that Oh, be. that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. And are we going to pay him back on time? <laughs> I guess that's the real question here, Henry. I don't really, like, now that I'm in the mob, 
I don't really want to be fucking with loan sharks, because I know how deadly loan sharks can be. You know, just like the beginning of the goddamn game. <laughs> and I don't really want to find out what would happen if I don't pay back on What the fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? Apparently that pole I just hit. Okay, this is it. Stop times. here. I don't know. I don't. I don't like this plan at all. Selling drugs, getting loans from a loan shark. You know, it's not a, not promising. It's not a promising outlook on today. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. That was a password. That was a terrible password. Hi, fellas. Hi, oh, Henry. Boy, Mickey Mouse. If you got guns on yous, put them down there. Guns on yous. I gotta search you. I gotta search you. I, I love that. The. I wouldn't call it a lisp, but. The way some of these people talk. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company? Today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me. Why should I give that much to a small-time guy Ooh, like damn. you, huh? Salt in the wound. Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. 55, I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll Friday? give me 55000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then... The debt goes up by 10,000 every week. Jesus Christ. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Are now, you know sure about I trust this? you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot. And I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? That I'll was take really your word sloppy. for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday. You guys call yourself professionals? Cut. Can you I hope so. A suitcase. Good luck, boys. Or a briefcase. Not exactly a suitcase. Yeah, are we sure about that deal? We get thirty-five thousand. He gives. Us, we have to pay back fifty-five. <laughs> I'm feeling sort of rough here, my friends. I'm just. I'm just saying. I don't know if this quantum posters are actually real life. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of thinking that it's the devs. <laughs> Just kind of. I mean, I can understand if it's like a real wanted poster, but I don't think they would ever really go searching for a wanted poster by the guy who bootlegs. Did you not see that light turn red? Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible's so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I ask the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the fool's lousy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that yeah. pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's school. Ah, uh, God rest her soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. Jesus. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll save seats for the both these. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos' joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened. 
I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. You get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry though. Crab's a moron. Not like that's gonna happen to us. Okay, now that you've said that, you jinxed us all. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Joe. You just jinxed everyone in this car. We're all gonna die, aren't we? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I don't trust lone sharks to begin with, hey, but you just went through a red light. now that I have to pay him back twenty thousand more than I already have in my my in my hand, uh, I don't know. I'm not really feeling feeling good about this, guys. Lone sharks, not the best idea. Drugs, not the best idea. <laughs> Combining two bad ideas, expecting it to make 